Okay, this is the Dorel uh, Ale House. Um, one of the leaks is around this vent right here, inside of the, uh, right where it goes out to the patio. Um, um, we, we just gotta put a piece of counter flashing. You can actually, uh, it's, it's coming in right in the flashing. I found water in the flashing there. Uh, the other one down here in the drains, the one over here in the drains, the one over here in the drains is, uh, we got a bigger problem. Um, um, you got, you got a leak right here. It's actually dripping inside, which is that, you know, that's an open rain gauge. But right here, um, the, the roofing area is, is completely gone. Um, what we got here, this is, this is, that's, it's a water bed underneath here. The insulation, the insulation is gone and um, it's completely saturated underneath. So, uh, the, you know, there's no quick fix for this one right here. What we have to do is, we're going to have to open this area up. We're going to have to open this area up here, change out the insulation, because the insulation is completely saturated. It's soft. Uh, and we'll have to put, you know, a new system right in from the drains up. Um, and there's an airplane. Um, but, uh, uh, it, you know, the videos don't really do justice for um, what I'm feeling compared to what you're seeing. Hopefully you can see the, the motion in that as this, this, uh, as this goes up and down. Hopefully you can see that. That's, that's full of water right there. Just, uh, you can see it over there going up and down. Um, like I say, you know, it's got, it's got places. It just, we'll just have to, we'll have to open it up. We gotta open it up, change out the, change out the uh, insulation, and then uh, put a new uh, modified system in that area. Uh, all in all, though, uh, the system seems to be in pretty good shape. You know, you got a little while left on this roof here. We got a couple things, you know, we got to keep track of these guys. Um, when, they, when they do this here, you can't just leave that like that. The water eats that foam up, and uh, the, the foam, and it's just a rain gauge. So, you know, even like these guys here, just pull up here. Make sure that those got a top on them. Um, we had a couple pitch pans over here that we need to uh, doctor up. You got another pole right here. You know, same thing. Can't, can't leave them like that. Put a cap on them. Um, fill them up with uh, some uh, urethane something. Um, we had a couple pitch pans over here that we need to address. Uh, where was it at here? Actually, it don't look as bad now. I was up here uh, this morning before the light came up. And uh, those pitch pans actually don't look that bad. Uh, this this roof here, just a couple couple little items to address, and uh, I think you're gonna be in good shape with this one for a little while. Got some lines apart again, just like on most of them. I'll slap those back together for you. But this uh, that one repair over there at the drain, the repair over the drain, we're gonna have to we gotta cut that out. We're gonna have to have a couple days of uh, of uh, wow, this one's been on fire here. Um, we'll have to have a couple, a couple days of uh, dry weather because we'll have to open that up, uh, let it dry out, get here, you know, uh, come at late at night, cut it open, cut it open. Basically, have to take all the way. See, it's soft, clear up here around the drains here. Somebody did a patch here or something. Looks like it's soft here, but not as bad as once we get over here. This is. This is where it's, I mean, that's just a, like I say, you know, it's just a waterbed.